Hi, it's Richard Swan here from The Coach Solutions. I'm going to talk to you about the Smart Spider and the Smart Spider Plus. So, do you have a need for a tool that's capable of cleaning pipes? Cleans aggressively, yet is kind to fragile and damaged pipes? And go through the pipe even when sections are missing without getting stuck. And, the, and that same tool can be used to remove tuberculation deposits, cut through scale, remove fats, oil and greases or fogs and it can be used as an enabler for CCTV surveys to be undertaken prior to pipe rehabilitation where the section is missing. The same tool can work in cast iron or metal pipes, concrete pipes, clay pipes and PVC pipes. The Smart Spider is a special tool for cleaning fragile or damaged pipes. The Smart Spider can go through pipes where sections of the pipe are missing without getting stuck. If the tool rotates, the Smart Spider legs adapt to the damage of the pipe. The Smart Spider can be also be used in plastic pipes, however, it must be used with extra care. I have a video now and it shows you how the legs flex in and out against the side of the pipe wall. So the small spider has 12 individual spring-loaded legs. The legs adapt to the internal diameter of the pipe and each leg works individually, centralizing the tool in the pipe. The tool is flexible enough to allow it to navigate 90 degree bends. And you need to select the correct smart spider according to the diameter of the hose pipe. So here we have a short video of the Smart Spider in operation. You can see here it's an old cast iron pipe with a large section of it missing. So as the legs index in and out, flex, they hold the cutter centrally in the pipe. You can see here it just progresses through and you can see that the legs, even though they're, they're thin, are actually removing fine scale off the pipe inside of the pipe wall. Now, if you try to do a camera survey or to clean this pipe using water jetting, um, both the jetter or, and or the camera will get stuck in the area where the pipe's missing. Whereas the smart spider has gone all the way through and back again without any problems. So now, Ryan Bolden from our office in the States is going to discuss the benefits of the Smart Spider. The Bacote Smart Spider is designed to operate with the Super Midi and Maxi Miller in the 12 millimeter or half inch shaft size in pipes D and 100 and 150 or four and six inch, as well as with the Maxi Power Plus three quarter inch or 18 millimeter shaft size in pipes D and 150, 200 and 225 or six, eight and nine inch. The spring loaded steel legs of a Smart Spider operate independently of each other, which allow it to stay centralized inside a pipe, yet still clean, fragile, damaged, or pipes with holes or voids or trench rot in the bottom. It comes with a hub disc, but that can also be replaced with either a flat front drill head or standard drill head to bore into blockages. While we initially designed the Smart Spider for these types of pipes, we've also found it to be very successful at cleaning out fogs or fats, oils, and grease. Another advantage or trick to using the Smart Spider is that if you have a pipe with holes in the bottom, you can tape your CCTV camera line behind the Smart Spider, allow it to pull the camera line over those voids and get to where normally a camera line or jitter line would not be able to reach. So, as Ryan described, the, the tool comes standard with a hub disc. However, you can also replace the hub disc with either a front drill head or the flat drill head. So if you know that the pipe is straight and there's no bends, then you can fit the front drill head and that allow the 
that would then cut into a solid blockage allowing and making space for the legs to start working. Um, if we have got bends in the pipe, you know there's bends in the pipe, then you can use the flat drill head as that negotiates bends a lot easier without damaging the host pipe. So you can use the spot spider to enable CCTV surveys to be undertaken. One of the big advantages of the Pocote machines is that we have the outer casing. So you can actually fasten the CCTV camera head onto the outer casing behind the shaft bearing. And then about half a meter to a foot behind that, just tape the camera cord back on as well so it held it onto the pipe um, all you do then is you introduce the the smart spider into the damaged pipe and start cleaning and as you start cleaning it pulls the camera head through behind it so the operator can actually monitor the cleaning position the cleaning method and what's happening on the cleaning and also record the condition of the pipe at the same time Here's a video of the smart spider being used to remove fats, oil and grease from a 100 stroke four inch clay pipe. So you can see here that there's a substantial amount of fat um, on the pipe wall. And what we've done is the, the contractor has gone down the pipe, through the pipe with the smart spider and the legs have chipped away the, the fat of the pipe wall. Um, thank you very much to Wessex, West Wessex Drains for allowing us to, to use this video. So they've done the first run and they've removed probably 90%. There's still some bits of fog left. So they're now going to start the machine up again and carry on cleaning. So now this is the post CCTV survey and you can see here that 100% of that buildup of fat on the inside of the pipe has been removed. So moving on to the Smart Spider Plus. The Smart Spider Plus is designed to be used with, um, it has an 18 millimeter or three quarter inch shaft and it's designed to be used with the Maxi Power Plus Miller. Uh, because of the size of the shaft and, and the, the diameter pipes that we are working with the Power Plus, it has a 400 volt three phase motor. So the Smart Spider Plus is available in DN150, DN200 and DN225 for, for six, eight and nine inch diameter pipes. So, the most frequently asked question I, I get asked is uh, contractors ring up saying the legs on the smart spider are too long and it won't go into the pipe. Can we trim the legs back? Well, actually, no, because the legs are the correct size. They do not need to be shortened. The easiest way to get the smart spider into the pipe is firstly, you turn the road space, rotation speed right down to its slow speed, which is 500 RPM. Carefully hold the smart spider at an angle to the pipe with one or two of the legs already engaged inside the pipe. Then what you do then is you tap the foot pedal and slowly push the smart spider into the, into the pipe. You can see just that how we get it in by, by the video on the right hand side. So we're now going to get uh, Ryan back and he's going to talk about the replacement parts. All smart spiders are rebuildable, either by swapping out the rubber flex ring and or the steel legs. And the same body that holds the leg of a smart spider can be swapped out for different sizes. So for example, the Maxi Miller Super Mini Miller Smart Spider comes in four and six inch, and you can change that just by swapping out the size of the steel legs. So the Smart Spider is available in the following pro kits. The DM100 or four inch kits, 
and the DN150 or six inch kits for the 12 millimeter stroke half inch shaft machines. So that will be the Super Midi and the Maxi Miller. Further information is available not only on the Spider, but on our full range of tools and machines by going to the Picote, going to picoteinstitute.com.